Let's quickly set up Streamlabs so that you can stream in both landscape and vertical mode at the same time. This means you'll be live both on YouTube Shorts and via the regular live streaming method on YouTube. To begin, head to Streamlabs.com and download Streamlabs Desktop. In the bottom left corner of Streamlabs Desktop, there is a person icon which will prompt you to log in. Obviously, either log in with YouTube or with a Streamlabs ID. If you're making an account at this stage, you do not need Streamlabs Ultra, but if you are choosing to buy it, you can use my affiliate link to get $9 off. I'll put that in the description, but anyway, I'm just gonna click log in with YouTube. I'll choose the correct account. We'll give it authorization. And after a few seconds, it should log us back in. Of course, we wanna set up our stream looking like this. So here's how to do it. So let's start in the bottom left corner. We need this dual output. So I'm clicking onto the settings. I'm clicking onto the video tab. And in the top right corner, make sure enable dual output is checked. On screen now is some good horizontal video settings. And if I click into vertical, you should copy these ones as well. Let's head next into audio, where under desktop audio device one, you should add your speakers or headset. I've added my cloud to wireless headset and underneath mic, you should add your best microphone. Into the output settings now and video bitrate between 6,000 and 9,000. Note though that because we're on two canvases, it's actually gonna use more than that amount of bitrate, sometimes up to double. You can enable the replay buffer at the bottom if you wanna take clips while you're streaming. And we do actually have to add a second YouTube account onto this stream page. We'll come back to that at the end after we set it up. All right, so you've probably got a blank canvas like this. On the left, we'll have your scenes. Just right click and rename and I've named mine gameplay. You name yours, whatever you want. Next up, underneath sources, I'm gonna add both my display and camera and my alerts into both streams. So let's start by adding our display underneath sources, press the plus button, find display capture, click on add source. You can rename this here if you want and click add source again. Find the correct display, capture the cursor and press done. Now to make changes under these sources, firstly, just click on it. To start with, you can see I've got the hide from horizontal and hide from vertical. For example, you can see I'm toggling on and off the vertical view. Obviously we want the display capture viewed on both vertical and horizontal. So I'll leave both of them checked. And because I've clicked on it, you can see that I can resize both of them. So what I'm gonna do is as you saw at the start, we're gonna put the camera at the top and I'm gonna put the screen at the bottom. So I've just dragged it down and I'm gonna drag it up a bit and I'm gonna right click transform and we're gonna center it horizontally. And when you're happy with the way it looks, hover over it and press the lock icon. Let's move to clicking on the sources again, video capture device. This is gonna add our camera. You can give your camera a name if you want and click add source. Let's add in my lower quality second camera, which is my USB live camera. We have to make some changes here. Resolution FPS type, we're gonna to go to custom. Make sure your resolution is on 1080p or higher. If you have 4K, go for that. 30 or 60 FPS, depending on how good your camera is. This is my second one, so it's lower quality. And of course you have to resize it. I'm gonna click onto it. If you need to crop it, you can hold Alt and drag the squares. For example, if I just wanted my green screen section, I could drag it along to just the green screen. We'll keep it simple for now. I do need to resize it in two places. So firstly, let's resize it on the horizontal output and let's put it in the middle of the screen up here. And once again, if I wanna do that perfectly, right click transform. And this time we'll center it vertically. You can see on the right hand side, it's also centered it vertically and we don't want it to do that. So we'll click on this one and we're just gonna resize it and drag it into place. That looks great now. Now, of course, we want some alerts as well. So plus on the sources, add the alert box, give it a name if you want, click on add source. You can configure these here. I actually recommend you go on streamlabs.com slash dashboard and click on alert box and configure it there. But if you wanna configure it here, just click through it and change the different alerts and press close. And I can say I actually forgot to lock my camera in place. So let's do that and let's click onto the alert box and the square shows where the alerts go. So I'm gonna right click transform and I'm gonna center on screen on vertical. And actually it's centered it on screen in both places. I'm happy with that. So I'm happy with that. I'm just now gonna lock this one in place as well. So now we can't accidentally click on anything. I'm trying to click on both horizontal and vertical. I can't accidentally move anything. Now, just before we look at going live, let's go onto our microphone. I'm gonna click the settings, click into filters, click on edit filters. You can see I've already got it added. Let's pretend I didn't have it added. Click on add filter, look for noise suppression, click on add and look for RN noise. 
This removes any background noise like AC or fans. If you're in a really loud room and you have the NVIDIA option, then go for the NVIDIA option. But just in general, RN noise is fine. All right, we're ready to go live on YouTube in both horizontal and vertical, including on YouTube Shorts. So let's hit go live in the bottom right corner. It is actually beneath me. And as you can see right now, we only have one option. So we're gonna leave this in the horizontal option. We're gonna have to click add destination and click on other. And this brings up the stream settings that we saw before. I'm gonna click on add destination. I've renamed this to YouTube Shorts. It now wants a URL and a stream key. So let's look at how to get that. So you wanna go anywhere on YouTube, whether that's studio or just youtube.com, click create in the top right corner and click on go live and click schedule stream in the top right hand corner. If you have streamed before, you can reuse the settings. I'll do that for simplicity. If not, you just fill out all the generic stream information. We're not focused on the stream information, so let me just get to the last page. I'm just gonna schedule mine a few hours into the future. I'll make it unlisted because I'm not actually going live and I'll press done. What we wanna get from here is our stream key and server URL for the YouTube short stream. For the landscape stream, that will be generated just by YouTube and Streamlabs. So you can see it says stream key on the left. Let's click this drop down list. And you can see I've named one vertical key. To do that yourself, just click create new stream key. Give it a name here and a description if you want, and then just press create. Since I've already got mine, I'm just gonna choose mine from the drop down list. You can copy these other settings if you want, by the way, those are good settings, but I now need to copy the stream URL or I can copy the backup one. It doesn't really matter. And if we go back into our Streamlab settings, there's the URL. And I'm now gonna go into the stream key and we're gonna copy that one as well into there. I'll press save. So now I'll just press done here. We have to press go live in the bottom right corner again. And underneath add destination, I can now add YouTube shorts and check the vertical option. Once again, if you want to multi-stream to even more locations, you can use my Streamlabs Ultra discount link, which will give you $9 off. There's also a link in the description if you want to multi-stream on TikTok with a stream key. Anyway, before we go live, I recommend you show the advanced settings. Now these YouTube settings will always be for your landscape stream. You configure the other ones in the YouTube studio here. But for landscape, obviously give yourself a category, upload a thumbnail, you definitely need one of those. It actually does save good defaults for the other settings. And once you're ready, just press confirm and go live and you'll be live on both YouTube Shorts and regular landscape YouTube. You will have to read your YouTube short stream from inside the studio here. Unfortunately, it's not gonna put the chat inside Streamlabs. The only chat you'll get inside Streamlabs is the landscape one. Again, if you're looking to stream on TikTok, watch this video to get a stream key.